cell theory okay so what what uh, makes a cell is a cell okay apa syarat-syarat dia and then compare and contrast the structure of prokaryotes and and also eukaryotes prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell describe the structure and function of organelles describe the structure and function sorry describe the uh, structure function and distribution of specialized animal tissues and last describe the structure function and distribution of specialized plant tissues so basically for this uh, chapter um uh, the punya major component adalah uh, you have to understand what is a cell okay uh, what are the organelles okay that are found in uh, in cells what are the function of these organelles uh, you have to know how to draw the organelles okay how to draw how to label how to label how to um, describe the function of each of the organelles and then uh, you also have to know the difference uh, between prokaryotes and eukaryotes okay prokaryotes are simple organism where they do not have any membrane bound organelles and as for uh, eukaryotes okay they are more complex organism uh, it can be unicellular or multicellular okay eukaryotes can be uni unicellular or multicellular and um, all eukaryotes will have uh, membrane bound organelles especially they will have uh, nucleus okay uh, describe the structure and function of organelles that you have uh, mentioned and then um, the last two uh, subtopic is uh, we are going to look at the different types of uh, cells okay that makes up the tissues of organism okay uh, uh, animal tissues and also plant tissues okay so all organism are basically made up of cells okay so cells is the functional unit of organism okay the basic structural and functional units of every organism okay so basic feature of all cell is that uh, all cell will have plasma membrane okay so plasma membrane will function as selective uh, barrier it uh, it um, it controls okay the the function of the plasma membrane is to control what goes in and out of the cell okay uh, and it also uh separates the component of the cell from the from the extracellular fluid for example okay or from the um from the outside environment uh, of that organism and then you have cytosol okay cytosol is the semi-fluid or jelly-like substance where all the organelles and also other substances are suspended in this uh medium okay in this cytosol okay so the the fluid we call it as the cytosol but if the co the combination of the fluid and also all the components okay the the uh, the organelles and all the, uh, and other other components okay other uh, molecules that are found in the cytosol we call it as the cytoplasm okay and then uh, you have the chromosome okay so uh, both prokaryotes and also eukaryotes have chromosomes okay which are which are the genetic materials that that uh, carry genetic information for that organism okay so um so most organism will have uh, dna lah, kan? so dna is uh, is a really large molecule uh consists of uh, nucleic acids okay that that um uh, that it has specific 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 region we call it as the gene that uh, that uh, that function to store the the synthesis of a specific protein okay it controls the expression of that uh, of the feature of that organism okay and then ribosome so ribosome is an organelle that function to synthesize uh, protein it is the organelle function to synthesize protein okay uh, of, uh, known as the protein factories ribosome is an organelle that has no nucleus uh, sorry no membrane okay Ribosome is uh, is an organelle that has no uh, no membrane. Okay, so ribosome can be present in uh, in prokaryote and also uh, eukaryotes. Okay, so so the, so all organism, be it prokaryotes or uh, eukaryotes, they must have these four components: plasma membrane, cytosol, uh, chromosome, and also ribosome. Okay, so these are the two concepts. Uh, of cell theory that you have to know the first one ini you kena tukarlah kan one and two okay first one cells are the basic living uh, units of organization and function of uh, in in all organism okay basic unit so all organism are made up of 
cells. Okay, so there are unicellular organisms that consist of only one cell. Okay, so all, all prokaryotes are unicellular. And as for eukaryotes, they can be unicellular or multicellular. Okay, so example of unicellular eukaryotes, um, you have um, proteins such as amoeba, paramecium. So jangan ingat paramecium, uh, 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 paramecium amoeba, okay. Uh, they are bacteria. Okay, so they are eukaryotes. Okay, they are eukaryotes. They are unicellular, uh, unicellular eukaryotes, unicellular organism. Do not consider these proteins as uh, as bacteria or prokaryotes. Okay, and then number two, all cells uh, come from other other cells. Okay, so cell will multiply. Okay, I either through, for example, mitosis scan or uh, for prokaryote, they undergo binary fusion. Okay, so uh, so uh, an organism is produced okay, from the previous cell. Okay, so all, all cells come from uh, or come from other other cell. Okay. Okay, so cells uh, or organisms. So you have prokaryotes and also eukaryotes. Uh, for eukaryotes, uh, they can be unicellular or multicellular. So unicell unicellular, as I've, I've mentioned, uh, uh, they consist of organisms, we call it as proteins, okay, proteins, such as amoeba, aramecium, and uh, uglena, okay, all that organism falls under unicellular eukaryotes. They have, they have membrane-bound organelle, they have nucleus, okay, they have uh, mitochondria, okay, they, they have... Um, uh lysosome okay so 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 these uh, these uh, are unicellular eukaryotes and then for multicellular uh, eukaryotes obviously you have plant cells and also animal cells okay so you have to know you have to know the the difference okay you have to know the difference between uh, between prokaryotes and also eukaryotes uh, you, you have to know how to draw uh, how to draw these two cells, okay, the differences between these two cells and also you have to know the differences between plant cells and also animal cells. You have to know how to draw these two cells, okay. Okay, so for prokaryotes and eukaryotes, uh, two types of uh, organism. Uh, prokaryotes, okay, it um, uh, it derives from the word, uh, from these uh, two words, okay, which is pro, it means um, before. Karyotes means nucleus, before before nucleus exists, okay? So or, uh, the early organism that exists without the presence of nucleus inside the cell, okay? So organisms of the domain bacteria and also archaea consist of prokaryotic cells, uh, which is single cell organism, unicellular organism, okay? Bacteria and also archaea. So uh, kalau nak tahu perbezaan antara archaea and uh, 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 bacteria you have to uh, look up in books okay so um, basically one of the difference is um, the living uh, environment of these two organisms is is different okay Ar archaea they will inhibit um, area that is more extreme okay compared to bacteria okay more extreme okay um Okay, so these are the, okay, so this is uh, an illustration or diagram, okay, to show you the basic structure of uh, of pro prokaryotes, okay. Um, so as you can see, inside inside the cell, uh, this is this is uh, the drawing, okay, so this is uh, the image if you were to observe the the prokaryote under, under uh, TEM, okay, elect, uh, elect, uh, electromagnetic uh, microscope, something like that, okay. So, uh, so the uh, if you were to draw the the organism, so as you can see, inside the the prokaryote it has nucleoid. Okay, so the nucleoid is the region uh, that um, uh, that that has the genetic material of that uh, bacteria, the chromosome of the bacteria, uh, confined in the nucleoid region. So nucleoid, dia dia bukan nucleus eh? Do not mistake nucleoid with nucleus. Nucleus is, a, is an organelle that has uh, embryo, okay? But for nucleoid, it is uh, the region within the within the bacteria that has all its genetic material uh, com, uh, confined in that nucleoid region, okay? 
And then uh, inside, you also have ribosome. Okay, so all organism has to have ribosome to synthesize protein. Protein is really important for for any organism as the protein has many function. Okay, so the protein can fu uh, can function as enzyme, for example. Okay, so in order for a cell to be functional, in order for a cell to to carry out its function, the enzyme has to has to work properly. The cell has to produce enzyme to catalyze reaction within the cell. Okay, and then uh, uh, this uh, so ini adalah tadi uh, bacteria chromosome within the nucleus, and then you have the plasma membrane. Okay, so the plasma membrane will uh, will um, uh, uh, will surround the cell. Okay, separates the the component of the bacteria from the from the outside surrounding. And then, uh, in uh, in order to protect, to give more protection for this uh, for this cell, they are surrounded by cell wall, okay, cell wall, and also capsule. Cell wall of bacteria, the component of cell wall of bacteria is different from the component of uh, cell wall in plant, okay. Huh? So uh, they are the the they consist of different component, okay. So uh, and then outside outside uh, the cell wall, you have the capsule, and then uh, in order to facilitate the bacteria so that the bacteria can uh, can move okay uh, in 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 um, in aquatic uh, environment for example okay uh, so they they will have flagella okay so this is to assist the 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 bacteria for example to be able to 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 move okay uh in in its in its uh, environment okay and then you have the frame brain the, ba the bacteria the bacteria will have a frame brain uh, so this is to uh, the function of the frame brain is to uh as it function as a structure for the bacteria to to adhere okay to certain uh to certain surfaces okay so those are the, the the function of each of this structure okay okay so next uh, you have the eukaryotes okay so it, uh, it come it, uh, the the term come from these two uh, uh, words okay if i'm not mistaken dia daripada istilah istilah greek macam itulah kan so non english punya term okay so you it means true Karyots mean nucleus, okay? So for this organism, they have an actual uh, nucleus, okay? A nucleus that contains the DNA, the genetic material for that organism, which is surrounded by nuclear membrane, okay? So characteristics of uh, eukaryotic cell uh, is that they have uh, DNA uh, in the nucleus, okay? So the nucleus are surrounded by nuclear membrane. The membrane of the nucleus, uh, it is double, double membrane, okay? They have the inner and outer membrane okay nucleus have two layers of membrane and then uh organelles surrounded by membrane so so for this organism they they have other organelles that us that that have membrane okay you have the uh, mitochondria the function of the mitochondria is to uh is to produce atp okay which is uh, the energy currency for the for the cell okay to in order for the cell to to get energy to do cellular activities okay such as uh, to to be able to move okay to control what goes in and out of the cell uh, through active transport for example so all these energy uh, are produced from atp which is produced by the um, by the mitochondria which is an organelle that has that has membrane and another example you have uh, chloroplasts okay so chlor chloroplasts also have membranes okay so chloroplasts are found in plant cell okay in the uh, in the leaf of plant uh, plant cell so the function of the chloroplast is to uh, is to to involve in in photosynthesis okay to to produce sugar okay for the plant and then uh, you have you have many other other organelles that we are going to look at in detail later and then uh, cytoplasm uh, is the region between the plasma membrane and the nucleus. Okay, so color fluid there, we call it as the cytosol. Cytoplasm, cytosol with all the or, uh, component within the cell. Okay, the, the, uh, the, the organelles, okay, uh, all the macromolecules, all the enzyme within the, within the cytoplasm, all the component, we call it as the cytoplasm. Okay, the fluid is the cytosol. Okay, so for eukaryotes, uh, they are generally much larger 
than prokaryotic cell. Okay, so the size is about 10 to 100 micrometer. Okay. Okay, so these are some examples of uh, eukaryotes, okay, eukaryotic cell. So for animals, uh, we falls under the animal cell, okay, human, human cell uh, from lining of uterus, okay. As you can see, uh, the lining of uterus, the feature of it, okay, uh, it has um, structure with uh, uh, cilia here, okay, they have cilia. Okay, and then uh, you have here uh, the, the nucleus, okay. Within the, the nucleus, as you can see, there is a dark, dense purple color. We call it as the nucleolus, okay. So this is a, a denser part within the nucleus. Nanti kita akan, kita akan tengok lah what is the function of the, nu of the nucleolus, okay. It evolved um, in the production, okay, of ribosome subunit. Okay, ribosome is made up of two subunit. You have you have the small subunit and also the large subunit. So this subunit of ribosome are synthesized in the nucleolus. Okay, so uh, and then uh, fungal cells. Okay, so fungal cells you have yeast cell. Okay, so yeast they are actually under eukaryotes. So do not mistake fungal cell as uh, as pro prokaryotes. Okay. So uh, inside, because uh, why 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 is it that this cell under under eukaryotes? Because again, they have membrane-bound organelles such as mitochondria, nucleus, vacuole. Okay, uh, uh, for yeast, they also have uh, apart from having plasma membrane, they also have cell wall. And then for plant cell, they have uh, they have additional um, additional additional organelles okay which is chloroplast which function as uh, in photosynthesis okay so they also have mitochondria they have obviously nucleus nucleolus within the nucleus and then they are surrounded by cell wall okay so you get it uh, you have plasma the cell will have plasma membrane first and then outside of the plasma membrane uh, is the cell wall and then uh, for unicellular this one this okay human cell uh, plant cell, they are multicellular, okay? For unicellular, you have the yeast cell, and then you have this uh, chlamydomonas, okay? Chlamydomonas uh, is an example of uni, unicellular eukaryotes, okay? So, do not assume if uh, if this organelle is unicellular, you assume it as bacterial cell. It is not a bacterial cell, it is unicellular eukaryotes because they have uh, membrane-bound organelles, okay, such as nucleus, chloroplast, vacuole, okay, mitochondria. And in, uh, in, in all, usually for this organism, unicellular eukaryotes, they live in uh, aquatic environment, okay, uh, so so they must uh, be able to, to move, in order to move, uh, it, to aid in the movement, they have uh, features such as flagella or cilia, okay. Flagella in this case for the Chlamydomonas. Okay, so in this table it shows you the differences between prokaryotes and also eukaryotes. Okay, so um, for prokaryotes, um, uh, for for prokaryotes, the the ribosome, okay, the size of the ribosome is smaller compared to the size of ribosome that are found in eukaryotes. Okay, both function in protein synthesis, organelles that that, that uh, involve in protein synthesis, but the size of ribosome in prokaryote is smaller compared to eukaryotes. Okay, and for prokaryote, you can find the ribosome um, scattered, okay, in the cytoplasm of the, uh, of the organism. And then uh, as for the eukaryotes, they, they are found in two places. Okay, one, they are found scattered free uh, in the cytoplasm, okay, free. So we call it as the free ribosome. This one is also free ribosome lah, free ribosome. They are not bound to any structure, okay. You have so, so both prokaryote and eukaryote, they have free, uh, free ribosome, ribosome that are scattered uh, freely in the cytoplasm of the cell. And the other one, uh, the other type of ribosome um, contains in uh, in prokaryotes is they have bound ribosome, okay, bound ribosome. So they are bound to this organelle, ER. What is ER? Endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is an organelle within the cell of uh, eukaryotes. So there are two types, okay. Endoplasmic reticulum, you have the rough endoplasmic reticulum 
and you also have this smooth endoplasm, uh, endoplasmic reticulum. So, so for rough endoplasmic reticulum, why do we call it as the rough endoplasmic reticulum? Because um, you have the, the ribosome, okay, uh, bound okay, to the membrane of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So, dia nampak macam kasar lah kat situ. So, dia nampak macam berbiji-biji kat luar tu. So, that's why we call it as the smooth endo, uh, sorry, rough endoplasmic reticulum which involve uh, in the synthesis of protein, okay. Uh, it function in the synthesis of protein that will become uh, enzyme, okay, enzyme to be secreted out of the cell, for example, or hormone that is uh, to be secreted of, uh, out of the cell. For a smooth endoplasmic reticulum, okay, they do not have any ribosome on the surface of the organelle, but uh, for this or uh, for this smooth smooth endoplasmic reticulum is to uh, involve in, for example, in the metabolism of lipid. Okay, in the metabolism of carbohydrates. So, they have different, different function. Okay. So, uh, so uh, that is for the ribosome of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Okay, so prokaryotes, free, free ribosome. Eukaryotes, they have free and bound ribosome. Okay. So, next is uh, cell division. Uh, so, for pro prokaryotes, they will divide through a process we call it as binary fission. Okay, bukan mitosis, bukan meiosis, but the process we call it as the binary fission. Okay, jangan guna istilah mitosis eh. Uh, for prokaryotes, the cell division is through binary fission. Please highlight this one. Okay, highlight it. Okay, so it is a type of asexual reproduction due to lacking uh, to they don't, don't have nuclei. So that's why we do not use the term uh, my, mitosis. Nampak macam mitosis tapi bukan mitosis. Sebab apa? Mitosis ni adalah cell division yang melibatkan nucleus. Okay. For this uh, prokaryotes because they do not have nucleus so the cell division is not through mitosis but the term we call it as binary fission. Okay. Okay so uh, for eukaryotes the cell division is through uh, mitosis for somatic cells. What are somatic cell? Every cell within your body are considered as somatic cell except for gamete cell. Okay, gamete cell, they will divide through meiosis. So gamete cell for male is the sperm, sperm cell. For female, it is the um, uh, oocyte. Okay, the oocyte, the egg. Okay, the oocyte. Okay, so uh, kalau mitosis melibatkan somatic cell, kalau Kalau human dalam keadaan diploid lah to n kan to n which is the total or uh, the total chromosome is forty six okay for gametes that uh, is n okay n uh, which is half of forty forty six is twenty twenty three chromosome okay so for prokaryotes that is I mentioned okay for prokaryotes the cell wall is consist is made up of peptidoglycan okay uh, so peptidoglycan kita tengok dalam uh, subtopic carbohydrate which is uh, it consists this component consists of both carbohydrates and also protein okay carbohydrate and also protein uh, so uh, uh, that is peptidoglycan which is the component of uh, prokaryotic cell wall and as for eukaryotes okay cell uh, plant and also fungal cell they have cell wall made up of cellulose okay as for fungi the cell wall is made up of uh, chitin okay so chitin uh, dalam chapter uh, carbohydrate juga kita tengok kan so chitin uh, the the monomer is similar to beta glucose but they but the appendage the the they have um instead of like at, at carbon number two if, if i'm not mistaken instead of having oh it has another structure okay so so that is uh for chitin okay so uh that is uh, the fungal fungal cell, cell wall within uh eukaryotes okay so for prokaryotes, they have mesosome in bacteria and plasma membrane in cyanobacteria. Uh, so the function of this structure is it is the site for cellular respiration which is to produce ATP. Because prokaryote does not have any mitochondria because mitochondria is membrane bound, mem membrane -bound organelles. Okay, so how does this organism produce ATP? It is, they use uh, mesosome okay, and also plasma membrane, mesosome. 
if I'm not mistaken, you can uh, you can search mixosome ni dia punya plasma membrane folded. Okay, plasma membrane dia folded to increase the surface area so that uh, uh, the structure can uh, can be used as a site for cellular respiration. Okay, so the folded uh, plasma membrane will increase the surface area to produce more ATP lah. Alright. Okay. Um, uh, so as for uh, as for eukaryotes, they have no mesosome, uh, obviously. So they depend on uh, mitochondria to carry out cellular respiration to produce ATP, which is the energy currency. Okay, energy currency for cell, so that the cell can use ATP to uh, to do cellular work. Okay, such as movement, such as to control uh, the, what goes in and out of the cell through active transport. Okay, or um, the process of uh, secreting, okay, secreting uh, waste from cell, okay, through exocytosis. Kita akan tengok nanti chapter 3, exocytosis is also an example of active transport. So, those processes requires energy, okay. The muscle movement, okay, contraction of muscle also requires ATP. So, those are some of the cellular activities that requires ATP, which is produced through cellular respiration, which occurs in the mitochondria. And as for prokaryotes, they don't have chloroplasts, okay, but there are some some uh, prokaryotes such as uh, cyanobacteria that is capable of carrying out photosynthesis. So, so in order to carry out photosynthesis, they have this structure, photosynthetic lamella, which is um, uh, involved in the process of uh, photosynthesis for cyanobacteria. And as for eukaryotes, they have chloroplasts lah, kan? So plant cell, algae will have chloroplasts to carry out photosynthesis to produce sugar, okay, for the uh, for the plant, for the organism, okay, as um, as fuel, okay, for as fuel for cellular respiration to occur, kan? Untuk, me, untuk menjalankan cellular respiration, mesti kena ada fuel. Fuel dia adalah daripada sugar. Sugar dihasilkan oleh chloroplasts, okay? Okay. So, two categories of eukaryotes uh, which are unicellular eukaryotes, okay? Unicellular eukaryotes, they are microscopic, okay? You cannot see this organism through using your naked eyes. Walaupun pakai spek, tak boleh nampak. Bila tak boleh nampak, you have to, you have to use at least a light microscope, okay? You can, uh, at least a light microscope, then you, you can see, okay, this organism unicellular. So, if you were to do an experiment uh, to see what are the microorganisms that are found in your uh, in your pond, okay, uh, in your pond at home, kan, ataupun if you have swimming pool, for example, kan, nak tengok bersih ke tak. Uh, so, uh, you can take some uh, some of the water sample, air longkang ke whatever, Again, so you take some uh, of the uh, water sample and then you can uh, put uh, on a on a microscope slide okay uh, so and then um, you can put some dye okay uh, or just be it like that and then you have to cover with cover slip and then observe under microscope okay to see if there's present of uh, presence of uh, unicellular uh, eukaryotes okay so uh, protein. So for this uh, unicellular eukaryotes, they we we call it we call them as protozoa, protein. Okay, protein, and then there's some uh, algae and also fungi. So these are unicellular eukaryotes. So they have nucleus and they have also other membrane-bound organelles. Nucleus within the nucleus, you have the nucleolus. Remember, eh? nucleolus is the dense part of the of the nucleus where the nucleolus function to uh, to produce the sub the the sub the subunit of uh, of ribosome okay that's the subunit of ribosome so the vacuole okay the vacuole uh, and and also they have uh, for chlamydomonas they have chloroplasts and also cell wall okay in order to to aid in the movement they have flagella okay so uh, unicellular eukaryotes uh, are more complex um, organism. Okay, so because they are more complex, they are multicellular. Uh, so you have uh, plant cell and also animal cell. Okay, so you have to know how to draw 
this cell tapi tak payahlah nak draw dia 3D macam ni just a simple drawing okay just a simple drawing kalau lukisan macam ni jangan sesekali masa exam cuba-cuba attempt lukis 3D okay dia akan jadi one it consume you time second dia akan boleh jadi salah okay Okay, just uh, for plant cell, you just draw like this kan. So, you have the cell wall and then you have the uh, plasma membrane, okay. For uh, plant cell, okay, if you observe, they have a really large vacuole, okay. So, because they have a really large vacuole, so the, the, the nucleus of the plant cell are pushed to the uh, to the peripheral side of the cell. They akan tertolak ke tepi. All or all other organelles akan push to the side uh, nearer to the to the plasma mem uh, membrane. So you have the nucleus, okay, yeah, and then uh, you have the chloroplast. Okay, chloroplast. You can draw them as double membrane. You have to you have to draw uh, double membrane, and then you have uh, inside you have the many thylakoid. Can just draw the thylakoid. Okay, macam tu. And then you have the uh, mitochondria. Okay, so the mitochondria is double membrane also. The outer membrane uh, is uh, is smooth, but the inner membrane it is highly folded. Okay, it is highly folded. Just draw it like that. No? Okay, how um, like that? Okay, just a simple drawing. And then you have um, what else does it have? Uh, it has the ribosome. Okay, ribosome. And then you have other organelles. You have the Golgi uh, apparatus. Okay. You are uh, any but the Golgi apparatus. Okay. Now. So just draw, just draw a simple drawing, and then uh, attached from the nuclear uh, nuclear envelope, you have the ER. Okay. So ER, ER ni. Okay. ER, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. As you can see from this diagram, the the nucleus uh, they have double membrane and the nucleus will have pore, okay, pore, nuclear pore. Okay, so the nuclear pore is made up of um, uh, membrane protein, okay, membrane protein. Okay, so this will control the materials that goes in and out of the nucleus, okay. And then you have the rough ER, why do we call it as rough ER? As you can see, uh, you have ribosome, okay, bound ribosome that, uh, that are attached to the membrane of the rough ER. Okay, so this, so rough ER is basically involves uh, in the synthesizing of protein that will be secreted out of the cell, okay. As for smooth, uh, smooth ER uh, is uh, one of the function is to uh, involve in metabolism of lipid and also metabolism of carbohydrates, okay. Um, the the free ribosome here as you can see a ribosome that is not bound any structure okay they are scattered in the cytoplasm the function of the ribosome is to produce protein to be used within the cell uh, to base it a free and bound free and bound ribosome okay they both function to produce protein but uh, for bound ribosome because they are attached to rough uh, er they are to the the function is to produce protein to be separated out Pre ribosome is to produce protein to be used within within the cell. Okay, one of the example of protein that are that uh, that is used within the cell you can have here uh, the microfilaments and also microtubules. Okay, so this is uh, this these are the structures that are made up of protein. Okay, they function as uh, cytoskeleton. Okay, they function as to as a, a structural protein. Okay, to hold the, the uh, to hold the cell together to anchor the organelles within the cell. Ingat ya, uh, organel dalam cell ni, dia bukan uh, floating dalam satu plaza macam tu je. They are anchored, okay, they are hold by structure. We call it as the cytoskeleton. Okay, so cytoskeleton example are microfilaments, microtubules, okay. And also within the cell, you have um, uh, organelles such as lysosome, okay. So lysosome or uh, any vacuole within the cell, uh, they, they do not just uh, 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 floating in the cytoplasm. They are they, they can move within within the cytoplasm, and the movement of this uh, vacuole from one 
place to another place within the cell is through um, a track. Okay, a track. Uh, so this track, uh, the component of this track uh, is microtubules. Okay. So dia, dia bertindak sebagai track untuk menggerakkan satu organel daripada satu tempat ke satu tempat yang lain dalam sel tu. Dia, organel ni bukan dia terapung dalam air macam tu. Okay. Uh, so so dia, dia all the organelles are anchored by structure we call it as cytoskeleton. Okay. Um, and then uh, the for for uh, for plant cell they have plasmodes mata. Kan okay. plasmodes mata dia, dia macam cytoplasmic connection macam lubang antara antara sel tu so so the function of plasmodes mata is to allow materials to be exchanged from one cell to another cell okay uh, so macam let's say lah for example uh, the chloroplast function to produce um, to carry out photosynthesis produce sugar so sugar from this uh, from this cell can be transferred from one cell to another cell through plasmodes mata. Okay. So uh, mitochondria, the, Gol the Golgi apparatus, semua ni kita akan tengok in detail uh, afterwards. Okay. So same goes to animal cell. So animal cell, they have, uh, as you can see, so this is the 3D structure. So again, do not attempt to draw 3D st structure during exam, during test, during quiz, whatever. Okay, so just hello plant cell, they have, um, uh, they are roughly, um, they have irregular shape. Okay, tapi kalau plant, plant cell, they have regular shape because they are surrounded by, by cell wall. Okay, so you can draw it like this. So because they don't have uh, central, central vacuole like plant, okay, central vacuole, large central vacuole. So the, is for, for, for animal cell, instead of having a large central vacuole, they have, a smaller vacuole, this, this smaller vacuole, we do not, we do not refer them as vacuole, we can refer them as vesicle, okay, for plant cell because the size is smaller, we call it as vesicle, okay. So, uh, just, okay, because they, they do not have a central, large central vacuole, you can draw the nucleus roughly at the center, okay. And then uh, the nucleus has double membrane. It has nuclear pore. And then the the nucleus, uh, the the outer membrane of the nucleus is directly connected to the membrane of the rough ER. Something like that. You can draw. Okay. Okay. So um, and then you have ribosome attached to the outer membrane. Can so in this size susah nak draw dia. Sebab saya saya guna jari ni. Okay. So. Um, so from the from the rough ER, they connected to smooth ER. Okay, smooth ER. Okay, smooth ER with no with no uh, ribosome attached to it. And then you have the Golgi apparatus. Okay. So from the Golgi apparatus, uh, lysosome will be produced. Okay, lysosome. Lysosome organelles that have um, uh, yeah, organelles that have uh, hydrolytic enzyme. Okay. And then you have the mitochondria, okay, the outer membrane, the inner membrane is highly folded, okay. The, the highly folded membrane of mitochondria is to increase surface area so that more ATP can be produced. Uh, and then what else do we have? Um, so, you can have other vesicle, can, uh, um, ribosome scattered, can you just, and then you have peroxisome, Okay, proxisome ni. Nanti kita akan tengok apa fungsi proxisome. So, some uh, some cell, some animal cell have uh, macrovilli. Okay. So, such as for example, uh, the lining of intestine. Okay, the lining of intestine, they have villi. So, villi to the, the individual. Okay, villi. The individual cell. Okay. Dalam, uh, in the lining of cell tu. This is, this is the the many villi structure kind of the of the small intestine you have many cell okay so the the cell okay is uh they have macrovilli okay macrovilli each individual cell so so this is to increase more surface area okay for example to increase more surface area okay ataupun uh, the boleh function uh, it has other function okay 
uh, for this one, as you can see, this organism will have uh, flagella. Okay, so kalau dalam human, uh, example of cell that have flagella is obviously sperm. Okay, sperm cell. Okay, so within the nucleus, as you can see, some they are they are double membrane. They have a uh, <coughs> nuclear nuclear envelope that has double membrane, inner and outer. So they have nuclear pore, and then uh, at the center you. Uh, they have, you have the nucleolus and then you have the chromatin. Okay, chromatin is is the fine thread of uh, of chromosome. Okay, so of chromosome fine uh, DNA dalam bentuk yang fine thread before dia jadi chromosome macam ni. Okay, so macam ni awak boleh see dia bila, bila sel tu nak masuk dalam uh, stage uh, mitosis ataupun meiosis. Uh, so yang ni awak boleh Awak boleh dia, awak nampak dia dalam keadaan macam ni Bila dia nak masuk stage mitosis ataupun meiosis Tapi bila dia dalam keadaan yang uh, interface kan uh, So dia dalam keadaan chromatin Okay, fine thread of uh, of, uh, of DNA Okay, so other structure you have the cytoskeleton, microfilament, intermediate filaments and also micro uh, tubule Okay, so these are structural protein. Okay, function as one of the function as I mentioned, sama je macam plant cell tu is is to anchor. Okay, anchor organelle within the within the cell or it function as a track. Okay, for organelle to move from one uh, from one place to another place within the uh, within the cell. Okay, so from this uh, table, as you can see, it shows you the difference between animal cell and plant cell. So for animal cell, obviously they don't have any cell wall. They only have plasma membrane. So that's why the shape of the animal cell is irregular. As for plant cell, they have a cell wall made up of cellulose. They also have obviously plasma membrane or, or we, can, we can call it as cell membrane. Okay, cell surface membrane. Good you. Okay, so cell membrane. Uh, so, um, what is the purpose of plant cell uh, has uh, cell wall? Okay, so this is for example, one of one of the importance of cell wall for plant is to hold the cell plant together, preventing the cell from bursting. The normal condition for plant cell, they have to be in a turgid, uh, turgid, uh, state, okay, turgid state. So that's why for plant cell, they have large central vacuole. One of the function of the central vacuole is to, uh, is the place to uh, water, to, to collect water. Then, okay. so, uh, so in order to for the plant cell to be turgid, they have, uh, they have central vacuole to store the water and causes the plant to be turgid. And in order to prevent the plant from over uh, over um, apa? storing the water inside the, uh, the cytoplasm in, and in order to prevent the plant cell from bursting. So that's why they have cell wall. Okay. So animal cell tak, keadaan normal dia bukan dalam keadaan terjil. Okay. Dia kena dalam keadaan yang um, yang normal lah. So normal condition for plant cell, they have to be in a in a isotonic a uh, solution ke okay, isotonic solution dalam keadaan yang normal macam tu kadar air keluar masuk tu sama okey so so that's why animal cell does will not have any central vacuole will not have any cell wall okey tapi kalau plant cell dia dalam keadaan turgid mesti dalam keadaan, mesti surrounding dia dalam keadaan uh, hypotonic macam tu okey hypotonic okey so animal cell does not have any plasmodes mata or pits Plant cell have plasmodes mata, kan? Um, tapi, kalau plant cell instead of having sebab uh, substance daripada uh, satu sel ke satu sel kena 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 bergerak, kan? Daripada one cell to another cell, for animal cell instead of having uh, plasmodes mata, they have gap junction. Okay, instead of plasmodes mata in plant in in, in animal cell, they have gap junction. Okay, tu kita akan tengok nantilah um, later uh, on uh, in this chapter. Tapi plant cell, 
they have plasmodes matter that allows substance from one cell to be transferred to another cell. So animal cell does not have any chloroplast, plant cell have chloroplast because they have to carry out photosynthesis. For animal cell, okay, so they have a small temporary barcode. It's a small temporary temporary barcode, so usually we call them as vesicle, okay, transport vesicle, and upon secretary vesicle. So that's why they are temporary. Fungsi dia adalah untuk transport, for example, protein from one region to another region within the cell, okay. Or they function as uh, the one of the vacuum can be um, lysosome. Okay, lysosome tu pun adalah small vacuum. We call it as a uh, uh, lysosome. Okay, that contains hydrolytic enzyme. For plant cell, uh, the the size yeah, is larger. Okay, due to the presence of central vacuum, uh, which is uh, to store cell sap. Okay, so cell sap, dia ada, uh, dia ada banyak lagi molecule dalam tu kan. Uh, and then uh, uh, the function of it is also to store water within the cell. Kalau macam contohnya pigment, kan pigment uh, pigment within or nampak warna strawberry, for example warna merah. Or nampak warna buah-buah, buah dragon fruit for example, warna merah kan. Uh. So all those pigments, okay, uh, you um, they can be stored in the in the vacuole. Okay, they can be stored in the vacuole. Okay. So uh, uh, tonoplast. Okay, another structure is tonoplast. Okay, so what is tonoplast? It is the membrane of the vacuole. So the membrane of the central vacuole we call it as the tonoplast. So because animal animal cell does not have any central vacuole, so obviously there is no Tonoplast. Okay. Okay. So other uh, other difference uh, for animal cell, they have a central. Uh, they have nucleus often at the center of the cell. So, but after that is I mentioned, so but because they for animal cell they do not they do not have central vacuole, a large central vacuole that takes much of the space within the cell. Um, so cytoplasm are throughout the cell and as for plant cell, they have nucleus and also cytoplasm are usually at the peripheral. They dah tertolak at tepi-tepi cell tu due to the presence of central vacuole. Okay, so next uh, for animal cell, they contain gly uh, glycogen granules for carbohydrate storage. Okay, so glycogen, glycogen uh, the monomer for glycogen is, uh, is glucose. Okay, alpha glucose. So, uh, for animal cell, uh, the the glucose, the many molecules of glucose from the food that you eat, from the from the food that is absorbed by your body. Okay, so they are stored, especially for for glycogen, they are stored in the liver cell or in the muscle cell. Okay, so this glucose are stored as glycogen. Okay, so for plant, uh, the the sugar that is produced uh, through the process of photosynthesis, for example, that occurs in the leaf of the plant. So leaf of the plant carry out photosynthesis, produce sugar. So these sugar molecules, okay, can be stored as, uh, can be stored as uh, starch gra uh, granules. Okay, starch granules, uh, for example, uh, in rice. Okay, in rice, uh, they are stored in rice grain or they are stored uh, in the, uh, tubers, okay, potato tubers, for example, okay, or in legumes, okay. So for animal cell, the size is smaller uh, compared to plant cell, okay. For animal, uh, for plant cell, the large, the cell is often larger compared to animal cell, okay. So for for animal cell, they some some have cilia, and some have flagella. For example, ciliated epithelium of trachea, ovidox, and also sperm cell. So sperm cell have cili sorry, sperm cell have flagella. Did not kena berenang kan? Tapi kalau um, lining of trachea, okay, lining of trachea, they are lined with cilia. Okay, the function of cilia is to trap uh, any contaminant, okay, from the air that you breathe in. So the air that you breathe in, okay, they are not Clean. They have other contaminants, other, other virus, whatever, other pollen, other dust, whatever. So, all these, uh, all these contaminants will be filtered by your, 
uh, by the hair in your nostril, okay, by the lining of your nostril, and also um, the lining of the trachea. Okay, so the lining of the trachea will have also a, um, uh, a cell, we call it as the goblet cell. The function of this goblet cell is to produce mucus. So the mucus function to trap the contaminant from the air that you breathe in. So uh, this, um, the, the combination of the mucus and also the, the the contaminant from the air that you breathe in, okay, so dia jadi macam, uh, macam fungus lah, what, whatever lah kan, lendi. So cilia ni akan swipe upward. Okay, so dia akan swipe, dia akan bergerak ke atas, push all that materials upward, okay, preventing all those contaminants from getting into into your lung. Okay, so dia akan push upward sama ada awak keluarkan or you, you swallow. Okay, you swallow, uh, end up in your stomach. So inside your stomach will have hydrolytic enzyme uh, to, sorry, will have, uh, will have acidic condition in your stomach it has uh, acidic condition that will digest uh digest that that, that contaminant uh, that is trapped by the by the mucus okay so uh so kalau ovidak pula dia ada cilia okay so ovidak ovidak tube fallopian tube lah kan ovidak or fallopian tube will have cilia the function of the cilia lining the ovidak is to aid in the movement of uh, secondary oocyte that is released from the uh, ovary. So ovar imagine eh, the ovary ada oviduct. So ovary akan release kan secondary oocyte untuk perempuan setiap bulan lah kan. Uh, akan, akan release the secondary oocyte. So the secondary oocyte will be released from the oviduct. Macam mana, so macam mana dia nak reach uh, dalam kepada uterus kan. So the the lining of ov oviduct will have cilia. Okay so cilia will push, uh, will uh, will aid Okay, in uh, the, the movement of secondary oocyte until uh, it reaches the uh, the the uterus. Okay, to be fertilized by the sperm. Okay, sperm, sperm, uh, swim lah using flagella. So for plant cell, they have no cilia, no have uh, no flagella. So for animal cell, they have uh, lysosome. So uh, the, the 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 component of lysosome it has hydrolytic enzyme. Okay, as a hydrolytic enzyme. So we are going to look at what the, what is the function of hydrolytic enzyme within lysosome later. Okay, so for plant cell, uh, the uh, lysosome are usually absent. Okay, except for in insectivorous uh, plant such as Nephantis. Nephantis, what apa? Contohnya, contohnya, um, kerja kerja kan. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so those plant will have lysosome. Tapi yang lain, tumbuhan lain. Uh, tak ada lah susu. Okay. Okay so next is um, the organelles. Okay structure and function of organelles. So types of organelle or structure based on function. So you have um, here you can classify these organelles according to their function. Okay so first the organelles that function in manufacturing and or breakdown organelles. So these are uh, nucleus, ribosome, and also the endomembrane system. Okay, so manufacturing untuk menghasilkan, untuk menghasilkan manufacture, okay, to produce. So obviously, as you know, the function of ribosome is to produce protein. Okay. Uh, the the nucleus can also manufacture. Okay, so. Uh, in the in the nucleus, you have the DNA. Can so from the DNA, uh, it produces mRNA. For example, manufacture, produce it okay, to produce something. Um, and then uh, in the nucleus, within the nucleus, uh, the, the that region, as as I've mentioned, is to produce the subunit of ribosome. Okay, the small and the large subunit of ribosome are produced in the nucleus in the nucleus. Okay, and then. Uh, you have another co another group of organelles which is under uh, a system we call it as endomembrane system okay endomembrane system so um, this includes okay organelles uh, which is endoplasmic reticulum both smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum and then uh, from there uh, it connects uh, uh, it is uh, the function will relate to the golgi apparatus can okay. Uh, in order to get to the Golgi apparatus, uh, has to has to uh, has to produce vesicles or vacuoles, okay, 
uh, ada dua jenis basikal kat sini. Transport basikal and also secretory basikal. Okay. Dan bakul kan kalau central bakul Central bakul lah kan. So you have a few types of bakul. You have contractor bakul, central bakul. Okay. Uh, so so those are bakuls. Okay. And then you have the lysosome, you have the plasma membrane and then you have the nuclear envelope. Okay. So all these okay are organelle or structures that the membranes are uh, directly or indirectly connected. Okay. So dia punya membrane tu ada yang directly connected, ada yang indirectly connected. Okay, so nanti kita tengok, kita tengok macam mana dia indirectly, macam mana dia indirectly connected. Okay, so ingat eh, the component of end endomembrane system, all these, okay, endoplasmic reticulum, smooth and rough, like so-so, mem plasma membrane, vesicles, vacuoles, gorgate uh, apparatus and also nuclear envelope. Oxidative uh, organelles is proxisome. Nanti kita tengok what is the function of the proxisome. And then network of fib uh, fiber structures. Okay. We call them as cytoskeleton. You have the microtubules, you have the microfilaments and also the intermediate filaments. All these are made up of proteins. Okay. They are made up of proteins. Okay. And then you have the extracellular structures, structure that is outside of the plasma membrane. So for plant, they have cell wall. And then uh, for animal cell, because they don't have any cell wall, kena ada juga structure that is uh, to support the plasma membrane. So instead uh, instead of having cell wall, okay, so animal cell will have cellu uh, extracellular matrix, okay. One of the function of extracellular uh, matrix is to support the structure of the plasma membrane. Okay. And then you have the intercellular junction. Okay. Intercellular junction is the connection uh, between cells. Tadi macam kita tengok dalam plant cell ada plasmodesmata. Kan. So that is one of the example for intercellular junction. In uh, in animal cell, instead of having plasmodesmata, they have gap junction. Okay. So ada a few more that that we are going to look at. You have the plasmodesmata in plant. Uh, you have gap junction. You have um, tight junction, you have uh, desmosome. Okay, so those are the different types of intercellular junction, connection between cells. Okay, and then uh, energy converting cells. Okay, uh, you have the mitochondria and then you have the chloroplasts. Okay, mm, in, uh, kalau makrotubus dia cytoskeleton, ingat ya, they are not organelles, they are uh, cytoskeleton. Okay, they are cytoskeleton, bukan organel. Okay, so kita pause dua minit sekejap, kita rehat sebelum kita look into the details of each of these organ organelles. Okay, we pause, kita break sekejap.
Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now uh, we are going to continue on uh, on the next subtopic, which is the detailed explanation uh, for each of the different organelles. Okay, uh, boleh dengar eh? Boleh. Okay, uh, so the first organelle will be the nucleus okay so for all eukaryotic cells it, it contains most of the dna okay so why does it uh, mention here most because um all the all the genes okay that is involved in the expression of proteins okay to express the feature of certain uh, the, the feature of organism okay so they are all that information are stored in the dna within the nucleus but there are two other organelles that also contains uh, DNA, okay, a, a small amount of DNA, which is the mitochondria and also chloroplast, okay. So, because mitochondria and chloroplast have their own uh, DNA, so these two, uh, these two organelles, okay, they can replicate themselves, okay, within the cell without uh, the instruction from, uh, from the nucleus, okay, without the instruction from the nucleus. So the nucleus, okay, is, uh, the shape of the nucleus is usually spherical or oval. Okay, so they are typically located in the central region of, of the cell. So this one, if we are referring to animal cell, okay. So uh, for animal cell, uh, the nucleus is uh, roughly at the center of the cell. But for the nucleus of plant cell, they are at the peripheral of the cell due to the presence of large central vacuole. Okay, that push all the organelles, all the cytoplasm to the to the side, uh, near to the to the plasma membrane of the of the cell, to the peripheral region, okay, of the cell. Okay, so uh, this uh, is uh, in uh, this is the diagram to show you the nucleus, okay, of the uh, the structure nucleus. So as you can see, for the nucleus, uh, they have double membrane, okay, the inner and the outer membrane, we call it as the nuclear envelope, okay, uh, inner and outer membrane. So, uh, the, uh, the nuclear me uh, membrane will have pores, okay, nuclear pore. So, this nuclear pore is actually made up of protein complex, okay, pore complex, protein, okay, protein that are embedded in the nuclear, uh, nuclear envelope, okay. So, uh, mm. the the, the 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 nuclear envelope also will have will have ribosome okay bound to the nuclear envelope like that okay will have a ribosome bound to it and then uh, as you can see from this diagram also the outer membrane of the nuclear envelope okay it, it is directly connected okay it is directly connected to the membrane of rough er Okay, as you can see, it is directly connected to the membrane of Rafi R. That is, you can uh, the component of uh, endomembrane system. You have the nuclear envelope. You have the um, you have the membrane of uh, Rafi E R. Okay, membrane of the uh, membrane of the Rafi R. Raf Raf E R. Okay, is directly connected to membrane of smooth. ER, gentlemen. So, so this membrane are can uh, connected directly. Okay, so um, okay, kita tengok dulu lah yang untuk nucleus. Okay, so uh, at the center of the nucleus, you have the nucleolus, and then you have the thin thread of uh, of the of the nucleus. We call it as the chromatin. So chromatin exists. Okay, before the cell undergo. Uh, mitosis or meiosis. So, dalam keadaan mitosis, bila sel tu nak masuk mitosis, baru dia dalam keadaan uh, condense. Okay? Uh, chromosome. Chromosome tu. Dia baru dalam keadaan chromosome, bila dia tak masuk phase. Um, uh, phases dalam mitosis or meiosis tu. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Yang so, baru dia dalam keadaan macam ni. Okay? Prophase. Prophase, anaphase, metaphase, kan? Prophase, anaphase, pro, 
Metaphase or not? Okay, so okay, no. Metaphase dulu, anaphase. Okay, baru mm -hmm. metaphase. Telephase. Anaphase so is when the two chromosome separate. Okay. When the two sister chromatid ni separate ataupun the homologous chromosome separate tu setiap setiap phases tu ada fungsi dia. Cuma dalam dulu dalam uh, syllabus ke asasi kita tengoklah each different phases tu. Okay. So, tapi bila awak dah belajar kat uh, SPM kita dah take out uh, that, that the detail part. Okay. So kalau chromosome ni awak boleh tengok eh chromosome di dalam keadaan macam ni. Tapi bila di dalam keadaan uh, somatic cell to n we call it as the homologous chromosome so kalau dal kalau dalam metaphase dia akan align kat metaphase plate lah kan align kat metaphase plate uh, itu kalau metaphase tapi kalau anaphase dia akan separate uh, tadi uh, tadi kan uh, pada dah dah bagi tahu tadi so anaphase is to separate the the homologous chromosome itu kalau meiosis kalau meiosis 1 kalau meiosis 2 is to separate sister chromatid. Okay, sister chromatid. Separate sister chromatid. So, kalau dalam uh, apa? Kalau dalam gamut cell, kan? So, dalam keadaan macam ni lah. Satu, sebab dah separate kan sister sister chromatid. Okay, during anaphase 2. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, itu itu detail lah pasal uh, cell division. So, uh, So kalau nucleolus, okay, nucleolus is the region uh, that is much denser. Kenapa dia much denser? Because in this region, you have the combination between DNA, okay, and also protein. Okay, so this protein and um, and from this DNA, it produces rRNA, okay. So combination of protein and rRNA, okay, is uh, is to produce the subunit of ribosome. Ribosome is consists of large subunit and small subunit. So these subunit are produced in the nucleolus. Okay. So the, uh, these are the detailed explanation. Sama je. Okay. So nuclear envelope uh, or nuclear membrane encloses the nucleus, separating it from the cytoplasm. So they consist of double membrane. The nuclear envelope consists of double membrane, inner and outer. So all membranes kan tak kisah ada plasma membrane ke membrane of mitochondria ke membrane of mm, chloroplast ke kan so they, they are they consist of phospholipid bilayer so nuclear membrane have pores okay perforated by pores okay which is pore complex study which is proteins okay that are embedded in the nuclear membrane so that function to control the substance to move in and out of the cell so kalau macam contohnya nucleus uh, nucleus of cell kan so this is the nucleus it has uh, double membrane it has pores okay ini saya draw roughly macam ni lah okay so um, your DNA is really large kan okay? it is a really large molecule from there all the information will be used to synthesize protein in the cytoplasm okay so how to synthesize the protein from this large information within the nucleus so a section of the of the dna we call it as gene okay that stores certain information will be copied in the form of mrna so this mrna has to move out of the nucleus so macam nak keluar it is through the, the nuclear pore okay so the the mrna will be out of the nucleus through the nuclear pore okay so Uh, the nuclear pore surrounded by a protein structure called as the pore complex ni tadi and pore complex uh, so regulate the entry and exit of macromolecules so one example you have the uh, rna or uh, the subunit of ribosome okay, which is which is the uh, that consists of rna and also protein the trnas all the rnas are produced in the nucleus but they have to Uh, they have to be used in the cytoplasm so they have to move out of the nucleus through the nuclear pore. Okay so the nucleolus, okay or plur uh, plural nucleoli, banyak, uh, baru kita panggil itu sebagai nucleoli. So not enclosed by membrane, uh, site for RNA synthesis, okay from instruction in the DNA. Um, so site for protein from cytoplasm and RNA to assemble into 
large and small ribosomal subunit. Bila dah terhasil ya, okay, once large and small subunit of ribosome has been produced inside the lysosome, sorry, inside the nucleolus, okay, baru large and small subunit ni will migrate out of the nucleus through the nuclear pore, okay, and then from there, these two subunit will be assembled. Okay, they, they will be assembled to form a functional ribosome. Okay, dia punya subunit tu dihasilkan dalam nucleus tapi dia akan diassemblekan, dia akan dicantumkan dalam uh, cytoplasm. Okay. Okay, so nuclear lamina, okay, nuclear lamina which is a array of protein filaments uh, or protein filaments ni adalah Jadi daripada intermediate filament which is a type of cytoskeleton. Okay, cytoskeleton tu tadi kita tengok ada tiga. Kita ada microfilament, kita ada intermediate filament, kita ada macrotubules. Okay, so the the component that makes up the nuclear uh, the nuclear lamina is the intermediate filament or we can call it is it is a protein filament. Tadi cytoskeleton all are made up of proteins. Okay. So lines, uh, it lines the inner surface of the nuclear envelope bahagian dalam ni the bagian dalam nuclear envelope ni you have the nuclear lamina. Okay. Di situ. Okay so it helps to maintain the shape of uh, of the nucleus. Okay it is to support the nuclear envelope. Okay so to hold the shape of the nucleus together. So it prevents the nuclear envelope from, from collapsing. And so to hold the structure of the nuclear envelope. Okay. So that uh, the nucleus the shape of the nucleus will be maintained. Okay. And then you have the nuclear matrix. Okay. So nuclear matrix net network of protein fibers th uh, found throughout the nuclear uh, and uh, interior. Okay. Both nuclear lamina and matrix organize genetic material in the uh, in the nucleus. Okay. Both nuclear lamina and matrix. Nuclear matrix. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, the function of these two components is to organize the genetic material in the nucleus. Dia macam sesatoplasm dalam nucleus lah, nuclear matrix ni. Okay. Okay, so next is chromosome. Okay, so chromosome contain DNA uh, molecule. Okay, so each chromosome is single DNA molecule with many globular protein called the histone. Okay, so DNA coiled around the protein forming chromatins. So chrom chromatin is a thin thread of DNA. Okay, before it enters the uh, metaphase, sorry, enters the phases of uh, cell division, mitosis or meiosis. Okay, so chromatin condenses, okay, for, forming cro uh, chromosome uh, as a uh, cell prepares to, to divide. Okay, cell, cell division lah, mitosis or meiosis. Okay, so next is the uh, ribosome, okay. So ribosome, um, ribosome structure made up of ribosomal RNA, okay, ribosomal RNA. Okay, ribosome structure made up, uh, made up of ribosomal RNA, ataupun we call it as rRNA, eh. R, R, N, E, okay, and also protein, okay, protein. So, so the combination between R, R, N, E and ribos, uh, sorry, R, R, N, E and also protein. So, this, this uh, combination, as I've mentioned, they are uh, combined, okay, in the nucleolus to form the subunit of ribosome, okay. So, uh, so bila dah hasilkan small and large subunit, then only they will be assembled in the cytoplasm to produce a functional ribosome. So, ribosome uh, is the site for protein synthesis. It is an organelle that does not have any nucleus. So, that's why prokaryote. Okay, sorry. It is uh, an organelle that does not have any membrane. Okay, so that's why uh they they are found in the uh, in the prokaryote and also they are found in the eukaryote so cell active uh, in protein synthesis have a large number of ribosome and a prominent nucleoli nu nucleoli 
Okay, such as pancreatic cell. Okay, Re maksudnya kat sini, cells that actively produces proteins, okay, will have a prominent uh, nucleoli. Nucleoli yang yang boleh nampak dengan jelas dalam nukleus tu. Okay, sebab apa? Dekat situ uh, akan terhasil banyaknya uh, RNA, akan ada banyaknya protein to combine to form the subunit to produce the in, in order to produce more ribosome for the cell. Okay, in order to produce more ribosome for the cell. So that's why for this cell that produces uh, cells that produces many proteins, okay, will have a prominent nucleoli. Okay, so such as pancreatic cell. Kenapa kat sini dia bagi pancreatic cell? Pancreas is an organelle that is uh, really active, okay, in producing protein. Okay, protein molecule. Why? Pancreas is, is is an organ, okay, is an organ that produces both hormones and digestive enzyme. Okay, so pancreas produces insulin. So insulin uh, is uh, is made up of protein. It produces the hormone glucagon. So these two hormone function to regulate your blood glucose level. So these two hormones are produced by pancreas and these two hormones are proteins. Okay. And another function of uh, pancreas is to produce digestive enzymes, okay. Digestive enzyme, obviously enzymes, okay, such as uh, pancreatic amylase, okay, you have other uh, uh, digestive enzyme produced by the pancreas, okay. So all these enzymes are proteins, okay. So, so pancreatic cell is really active in producing protein, so that's why they have a prominent nuclei to produce more ribosome, so that more ribosome can produce more protein for the cell okay <coughs> okay so next uh two types of ribosome you have free ribosome you have bound ribosome so free ribosome are suspended in the cytosol okay produces protein that function within the cell okay so uh that is the function of free ribosome contohnya kalau dalam bacterial cell they only have free ribosome okay for prokaryotic cell they have both free and bound ribosome. Okay, free and bound ribosome. So bound ribosome attached to the outside uh, of the endoplasmic reticulum or the nuclear envelope. Okay, outside. Uh, outside of the endoplasmic reticulum. Boleh letak kat sini? Membrane. Okay, membrane. Supaya senang faham. So every time when you draw a rough ER, kan? So rough ER, something like this. Okay, Again, again, I emphasize, do not attempt to draw organelles in 3D structure. Okay. Or, 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 nak jadi dia nampak 3D. So, buat dia macam 3D macam tu. Kan. Nak nampak dia cantik lah kononnya kan. Tapi jadi salah. Kan. Sebab apa salah? Sebab bila draw dia macam ni, dia nampak macam nuclear, the, the envelope of, uh, sorry, the membrane of the en, uh, endoplasmic reticulum has double membrane. Dia jadi salah. Okay. So that's why you just draw a simple drawing. Endoplasmic reticulum, the membrane, uh, they have only a single layer of membrane. One layer of membrane. Okay. So, um, okay. So bone ribosome attached to the outside of, uh, outside of the endoplasmic reticulum. So draw macam ni lah, simple macam tu. Okay. And then, dia punya ribosome, you always has to make sure it is attached to the outside. Okay. Of the membrane of the rough ER ni. Kalau, if you were to draw it, sini, tersalah sikit je, the, jadi dia kat bahagian dalam. Macam tu kan? So, dia jadi salah. Okay, your structure of the, uh, of the rough ER will be wrong. Okay, so the mem uh, the bound ribosome are bound on the outside surface of the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum and also the nuclear envelope. So the function is to produce protein to be inserted into membrane or export out of the cell so that uh, for, uh, for pancreatic cell to, 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 um, apa istilah to excrete. Okay, to excrete uh, the the product. Okay, 
So, so bound ribosome is to produce, okay, ingat eh, tulis, bound ribosome is to produce protein to be excreted, okay, excreted out of the cell, okay. The, the protein that, that is to be used, okay, excreted, secreted, okay, secreted. Okay, secreted from the cell yang dihasilkan dan dikeluarkan daripada sel tu secreted. Okay, so pancreas uh, produce and secrete hormones, insulin and, uh, and uh, glucagon. Pancreatic cell also produce digestive uh, enzyme. Okay, so this product will be secreted out of the cell. So that is the function of the protein, to produce protein to be secreted out of the cell, to be used out of the cell. But as for the free ribosome, it is to produce protein to be used within the cell. Macam contohnya dia nak asyikkan tadilah yang structural protein tu kan. Um, apa? Uh, cytoskeleton. Okay, cytoskeleton. Contohnya itu contohlah some of the example. Okay, so uh, ribosome. So this is the structure of ribosome. Just a simple uh, a simple diagram kan to all. Mungkin okay, senang je. Large ribosome. Uh, sorry, large subunit and small subunit. Okay. So as you can see, this is um, the image, okay, uh, observed under uh, electron microscope, okay, showing ER and ribosome. So this is the membrane of the rough ER, and membrane and of the rough ER. So dia punya um, ribosome is attached on the outside of the, of the ER membrane. Okay, yang ini yang, yang ini free, free ribosome. Okay, free ribosome. Okay. Free ribosome and bound ribosome. Okay, kan eh? So, small and uh, large subunit is made up of R, RNA and protein. Okay, proteins. Both are made up of R, RNA, ribosomal RNA and also protein which uh, is which are produced in the nucleolus, okay, and they are assembled in the cytoplasm. Okay, so next uh, is the endomembrane system, okay. So for the endomembrane system, so the endomembrane system regulates, okay, protein traffic, pergerakan protein dalam sel tu, okay. It controls, uh, uh, the endomembrane system regulates the protein traffic and uh, and perform metabolic function. Okay, metabolic function in uh, in eukaryotic cell. So these are the components that you have to remember that uh, that is under the endomembrane system. So you have the nuclear envelope. Okay, the nuclear envelope is directly connected to the uh, membrane of rough ER. Okay, membrane of rough ER. Membrane of rough ER is directly connected to membrane of smooth ER. Okay. And then, uh, and then you have the Golgi apparatus, okay? So the Golgi apparatus, the membrane of uh, the uh, Golgi apparatus, um, it is indirectly connected to the membrane of Rav ER, okay? Uh, nanti kita tengok, tengok macam mana, dia indirectly connected, okay? And then uh, from the Golgi apparatus, it produces lysosome, okay? From the, Gol uh, from the Golgi apparatus and also from the Rav ER, it produces vesicle and also vacuole, okay? Vesicle and vacuole, the membrane of vesicles and also uh, the membrane of vacuole, okay? Originates, same goes to the membrane of lysosome, eh? These two, these two lysosome, the membrane of lysosome, the membrane of uh, vesicle, the membrane of vacuole, uh, originates from the membrane of Golgi apparatus, which originates from the membrane of Rough ER. Okay, so you can membrane too. The membrane of this organelle are connected directly or, or indirectly from one organelle to another organelle. So from from a vesicle, okay, vesicle ni nanti kita akan tengok ada ada dua jenis. Uh, ada transport vesicle, ada secretory vesicle. Transport vesicle ni daripada uh, dia adalah daripada endoplasmic reticulum, rough ER. So, dia pergi dekat Golgi apparatus. Okay. So, from Golgi apparatus, it synthesizes the lysosome. So, from the Golgi apparatus, it produces secretory vesicle that will merge or fuse with the membrane of plasma 
membrane. Okay. So itu adalah membrane-membrane yang terlibat. So that's why tajuk dia kat sini calls us endomembrane system. The membrane of all these structures are directly or indirectly connected from one structure to another structure. So this component are either continuous or connected via vesicle. Tadi saya cakap vesicle ada transport vesicle, secretory vesicle and also uh, lysosome is under the, uh, under vesicle jugalah. Dan cuma lysosome ni dia adalah separate sebab dia ada its own function which is uh, it stores hydrolytic enzyme. Okay. Okay, so properties of endomembrane system carry out, it carries out a variety of tasks in the cell including uh, protein synthesis and transport protein into membrane and other organelles. Okay, dia, ber, dia melibatkan penghasilan protein. Why? Because dia punya key structure, key organel yang terlibat tu adalah ribosome. Okay, so ribosome as you can, uh, as we have looked uh, uh, earlier, so this ribosome are attached to uh, membrane of nucleus and also membrane of rough ER. Okay, so from rough, uh, rough ER, protein will be synthesized. Okay, so this protein will be packaged into transport vesicle. Okay, bila dia tra package into transport vesicle, dia akan migrate pergi ke uh, Golgi apparatus. Okay, so from the Golgi apparatus, the protein will be modified to form functional protein and then the functional protein can become whatever uh, protein uh, that the cell produces, can be enzyme, can be hormone, can be other types of protein. And then uh, from there, from the Golgi apparatus, they are packaged again into another vesicle. We call it as the secretory vesicle. Okay, ataupun dia akan package uh, into lysosome. Okay, so itu adalah untuk rough ER. Okay, so and transport protein into membrane. Into membrane, ingat ya, into membrane jadi transport vesicle ataupun secretory vesicle ha, macam tu okay um, okay and other organ so yang terlibat tadi ada organ yang terlibat um, rough ER smooth uh, smooth uh, Golgi apparatus okay and all this uh, vesicle okay so kalau met, uh, terlibat dalam metabolism and movement of lipid so this one it involves smooth ER Okay, detoxification of poison again smooth ER. Okay, so membrane of this system are related either through direct physical continuity or by the transfer of vesicle. Okay, sac uh, sac uh, made up of membrane. Sac made uh, made up of membrane ni also melibatkan Golgi apparatus. Okay, so the membrane are connected directly or indirectly through direct physical continuity macam saya tunjuk tadi the outer membrane of nucleus is directly connected to the membrane of um, rough ER the membrane of rough ER is connected to the membrane of smooth ER from there uh, it produces transport vesicle okay that can produce transport vesicle that will merge with the membrane of Golgi apparatus okay from the Golgi apparatus it produces secretory vesicle that contains protein to be secreted out of the cell. So macam mana dia secret out of the cell? So this secretory vesicle will fuse with the membrane of plasma membrane. So that's why dia cakap kat situ direct physical continuity or by the transfer of vesicle. Okay. Okay so uh, next is uh, the uh, the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay endoplasmic reticulum ada dua. Rough ER, smooth ER. Okay. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So endoplasmic reticulum is actually is an ex, uh, extensive network of membranes. Obviously lah sebab dia melibatkan dua major organel ni. Rough ER and smooth ER. Okay. So they account for more than half of the total membrane in many eukaryotic cells. So it consists of a network of me uh, membranous tubules and flattened sac called cisternae. Okay. Kalau tubule adalah structure untuk smooth ER. Kalau flattened sac, it is uh, untuk structure for rough ER. Ingat eh. Tubules, structure smooth. Flattened sac, uh, structure untuk rough ER. Okay. So all these 
membranous tubules or membranous sac ni we, we call them as sister name okay so within this sister name macam saya draw tadi kan macam ni okay daripada uh, daripada rough kan ada ada ribosome all the way through daripada uh, rough kita ada tubules dan macam tu lebih kurang lah uh, so ini ada uh, so membrane dia connected so ini adalah smooth ER kan so so the the species okay within these two organelles we call it as the cisternal space the the flattened sac the tubule uh, membrane membrane ni we call it as cisternae okay okay so the the internal which is a uh, cisternal space is the internal lumen or space of the ER that is separated from the cytosol by the ER membrane we are membrane ingat ya the endoplasmic reticulum they have only one layer of membrane okay so it is continuous with the outer membrane of uh, of the nuclear membrane okay so in your can imagine this is the nuclear membrane okay ni inner ini outer okay so uh, it is continuous with the outer nuclear membrane separates the er lumen and cisternal space from the cytoplasm from the cytosol kena separate kan sebab apa nanti dia nak produce protein uh, dia tu siapa ni tu ribosome lah daripada ribosome attach akan produce protein so protein is inside the uh, inside the cisternal space okay so from there bila bila dah hasil protein dia akan package into into vesicle so this vesicle we call it as the transport vesicle that contains the protein that is produced by the bound ribosome that is bounded to the rough ER. Okay. Ni we call it as a transport vesicle. Okay. So there are two distinct uh, region of the uh, ER. Okay. So smooth endoplasmic reticulum, smooth ER does not have any ribosome. Like it means does not have eh, bukan kekurangan. Langsung tak ada. Lacking. Doesn't have any. A ribosome. Okay. So as for rough ER, uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum has a ribosome bound to the outer, ingat eh, outer surface of the membrane. Jangan sesekali awak lukis ribosome tu dalam lumen. Okay. It is on the outside surface of the membrane of the rough ER. Okay. So, um, okay. So uh, as you can see, so ini kita jumpa dah kan. So yang ini platen sac. Ini kita menamakan dia sebagai platen sac. Okay. Untuk rough ER, rough ER, we call it as flatten sac. So all these are sister name. Kalau untuk smooth ER, membranous tubule. Bentuk dia macam tube. Kan? Bentuk dia macam tube. So ini adalah membranous tubule. So all these membranous tubule, platen sac, we call it as sister name. Okay, the space within the sister name of smooth or rough can uh, smooth or rough with the space within uh, within this structure we call it as the cisternal space. Okay, so um, okay, kalau tengok kat sini, uh, the region for the rough ER uh, yang yang jauh daripada nuclear envelope and dekat dengan uh, dengan Golgi apparatus, magic asinal Golgi apparatus, kan? So the region of the rough ER that is nearer to the Golgi apparatus, further from the nuclear envelope, and the the region that will that will uh, produce transport vesicle, we call it as the transitional ER. Transitional ER is the region of rough ER that that will that will produce transport vesicle. Okay. So kita tengok kat sini. Dulu kita tengok dulu untuk smooth ER. So smooth ER does not have any ribosome. Okay. They are lacking. They do not have any ribosome. It is a system of interconnected tubules. Bentuk dia macam tube. Okay. So it is continuous from the membrane of rough ER. Nampak? It is continuous. Okay. Continuous kat sini. Continuous from the membrane of rough ER. Okay. So function of smooth ER is to synthesize different substances from rough ER different substances such as for example lipid okay carbohydrates okay so synthesize uh, synthesizes and transport lipid 
metabolize uh, metabolizes uh, carbohydrate which occurs in uh, liver cell liver cell is an organelle uh, which is to store glycogen okay glycogen okay so again i emphasize glycogen is storage carbohydrate so after you have ate uh, your uh, lunch for example or dah makan nasi kan nasi tu will be uh, digested by your body kan uh, nasi ada starch kan your your the rice that you eat will have starch so this starch will be digested into its monomer which is glucose so the glucose will be absorbed by your body okay so the glucose will end up in your blood so in order to make sure that uh, that uh, your blood glucose level is maintained at certain uh, normal point okay at certain normal point so the the pancreas will secrete uh, the hormone insulin and convert those glucose that is in your blood to become glycogen okay to become glycogen and the glycogen will be stored in the liver kalau awak puasa pula kan you you do not eat so your blood glucose level will drop to the no, to apa will drop below the normal set point so glucagon will be secreted by the liver sorry by the pancreas okay, glucagon will be secreted by the uh, by the pancreas so dia pergi kat liver so dia suruh liver break down glycogen into glucose balik semula okay itu adalah itu yang yang yang, yang dimaksudkan dengan metabolizes carbohydrate such as for example in the liver so liver is to store glycogen okay and then another function of a uh, smooth ER is to detoxify drugs poison, and also poison and also to store calcium which is uh, needed for muscle contraction okay okay so next is uh, the rough ER mm. okay so for for the uh, rough ER, okay. So rough ER have sister name, okay. Studied with ribosome. Studied, maksudnya embedded in the membrane of the rough ER. You have the, you have the ribosomes. Kan, just start lah hidung. Or pakai, or pakai subang ke hidung kuat apa nak nampak macam ada. Macam tu lah dia kurang. Contohnya kan start, okay. Dia, dia tertanam, ha, tertanam dalam membrane of the uh, of the of the rough ER, okay. Okay, so, uh, so protein from uh, from bound ribosome enter the lumen of ER and carbohydrate are attached to it to form glycoprotein. Tadi kan, dah uh, ada structure, dah ada uh, sister ni tu. Okay, of rough, uh, of rough ER, ada ribosome attached to it, ada ribosome attached to it. Okay. So this ribosome is to uh, is to the the it will produce protein. Okay, so the protein will end up in the lumen of the rough ER. Okay. In the lumen of the rough ER. So in the lumen of the rough ER, it will combine with carbohydrates. Okay, it will combine with carbohydrates. Then okay. it combines with carbohydrates to form a molecule. We call it as the uh, as the glycoprotein. Okay, as the glycoprotein. So, uh, carbohydrate ni daripada mana? Daripada smooth ER ni tadi lah. Okay, daripada smooth ER. Okay, so glycoprotein is uh, is the example of a secretory protein. Okay, protein, secretory protein. What is secretory protein? Protein to be excreted out of the cell. Okay, protein that is to be secreted of the, out of the cell yang jadi apa? Hormon ke kan? Yang akan jadi... Uh, uh, enzyme ke kan that is to be used out of the cell secreted protein okay protein with carbohydrate that is commonly bonded to them okay so glycoprotein is the combination of carbohydrate and protein so it then depart or bud get off from the er in a membranous vesicle called the transport vesicle okay um so itu yang dekat bahagian yang transitional ER tu tadi. Right? Transitional ER. So daripada membrane of the rough ER at the transitional region will form a vesicle. It starts to form a vesicle. We call it as the transport vesicle that contains the glycoprotein. Okay, that contains the glycoprotein. So this transport vesicle, okay, 
transit from one part of the cell to another. Maksudnya dia akan berasal daripada Raphael. So dia akan pergi ke Golgi apparatus. Okay. So dia akan bergerak. So pergerakan tu bukan macam di swimming ke dia bergerak secara random di dalam satu plasma. Dia ada track dia. Okay. The movement of the uh, of the uh, of the vesicle is is true. Is using a track which is provided by the micro tubule. Okay. So dia akan attach guna dia nanti uh, protomoti, protein semua tu kita akan tengok later. Okay. Dia bertindak sebagai dia macam ada landasan untuk vesikel tu bergerak. Okay. Daripada daripada Rafi R pergi ke Golgi apparatus for example. Okay. So um, so the Rafi R will act as membrane factory. Okay. Ingat eh istilah sedar ni membrane factory for cell. Why? Because from the Rafi R will uh, will uh, originates okay the membrane of vesicle the membrane of the uh, Golgi apparatus, the membrane of the uh, lysosome, even the membrane of the plasma membrane. All the membranes uh, from the endomembrane system, the component of the endomembrane system originates from the Rafi R. Ingat itu? All the membrane, yeah, all the membrane of the endomembrane system originates from the Rafi R. So they found so the Rafi R function as membrane factory for the cell. Adding membrane protein and phospholipid to its own membrane in making secretory protein. Okay. Okay. So um, kita stop dulu sampai Rafi R. So far do you have any question? It's already half past 12. Okay, do you have any question?